Yo, what's up YouTube? Alright guys, I wanted to give you a look at the outside grow, let you see how the plants are looking. Um, I did come through and clean up these two, they were looking a little bit rough because I haven't really done much to them. The doxy doe here is doing pretty good, as you can see she's starting to stack up pretty sick. Uh, she's gonna, well, she's starting to produce buds. In the next few weeks here she's gonna start stacking up really, really hardcore. Um, I don't know if you can see, it's hard for me to see in this, uh, the sun's right in my screen here. But everything's starting to flower out. She's stacking dirty. So there's going to be some solid, solid colas. Uh, this phenotype right here is really uh, citrusy, orange, uh, really, really dank, really frosty, good, good product. Uh, so this is a really, really well uh, phenotype here. This is a good, good pheno here that I got. Uh, she's a really nice producer. She takes a long time to grow, but the end product is amazing. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna come through and defoliate just a little bit here, take out some of these big leaves that I don't need to be here. Um, as far as the bug issues, I've gotten rid of everything. I've been spraying periodically for about the past month with different, um, I've been using a uh, Dawn dish soap diluted with water 10 to one and uh, using neem oil and um, another pesticide spray for caterpillars, uh, grasshoppers, worms and other things. But uh, so far I haven't, uh, it, I've fought them all off. I don't have any kind of bug issues. I didn't have any spider mites or anything. I did have thrips, but those I got rid of pretty quickly with the soap and the neem oil. Other than that, everything's doing pretty good. Uh, these ones here, like I said, I came through and I cleaned them out. There was a lot of foliage in here and a lot of buds in here that weren't going to make the cut, like stuff like in here. I cleaned all this up. Uh, there's still a little bit there left that I need to come through and just trim out. But for the most part, she's uh, pretty clean. She did cut in half, she broke in half about a month and a half ago. I had to tape her back up, but uh, she's doing good. So far she's flowering, she's stacking pretty sick. She's gonna be a good uh, yielder at the end of the summer. Um, off this plant alone, probably maybe two pounds. It's gonna be quite a bit of weight. Uh, this one here is gonna be quite a bit as well, as well as this one over here. This is a bubblegum strain that was in full on flower. I mean, full, full flower. That's why she's so stripped. I took off all the buds and uh, that because she went full on flower in early uh, in early in early summer, so I just uh, you can see how fat the buds are already, and she's stacking up sick. It could be because she's more in the corner here; she's getting more of the darkness at night. But she's this is the bubblegum strain, and she's doing pretty decent. You can see the bud sizes are pretty pretty up there, and the frosty as hell. She smells fucking amazing too. So does this uh, cowboy cookies here. She has an amazing scent to her. The dosi do. She's got a little bit of a centaur, but she's just starting to flower out. As you can see, she's got some little buds. These ones are a lot more, uh, a lot more produced than, than the dosi do. She's st stacking up dirty though. Like I said, it's going to be a decent yielder outside. I'm guessing about two pounds, maybe a pound and a half, another pound. We'll see what it is at the end of summer, but it's going to be a lot of trimming. So it is what it is, but. You know, so long as uh, you take care of your plants, you can have the same quality medicine you have indoors, outdoors. Um, it just depends on how you're maintaining your plants. Make sure there's no bug issues. You can still get a decent yield. Even if you do have some kind of issues, you, you're going to have a yield regardless. Because outside, usually you get double the growth because of the, just the sun itself. But uh, all in all, they're doing really good. I'm happy with the, with the way they're doing. Um, like I said, next year I'm probably going to do a greenhouse. I didn't do it this year. I was going to, but uh, it is, like I said, what it is. I'll show you the inside grow real quick, guys, and then we'll show you the veg garden. Matter of fact, we'll go to the veg first, and then we'll go to the flower tent. Give me one second. All right, guys, we're in the veg tent. Since I moved this plant in here from under the CFL, she got real sad and lonely, and I don't know, she's just rough i know she needs cow mag and nutrient feeding she's hungry as hell actually they all are the only one that's doing pretty decent is the gorilla glue in the back but uh, all these are, are clones actually so they're doing pretty good for what they are and this one here is a seedling this is a dragon stash uh f1 i think so we're gonna top this one here in a couple weeks and then uh the rest here we're just gonna we're just gonna veg them until they get healthy and nice and and green and lush i did cut some clones off in the back over here from the dosi dough outside there are some flowers and buds on them but they'll go back into reveg as they as they start to root and as long as they're in a 
24 hour light schedule or 18 6 or even 15 hours of light as long as they're getting more than 14 hours of light they're gonna they're gonna veg so these ones all here are gonna be in veg here for the next probably month and a half so i get nice and healthy and green again um, but yeah that's the plan in here i'm gonna probably pop a few more seeds but we'll see these are all kryptonites here this is a, a tidal wave a clone that i got from a dispensary like i said she's she's a little bit underfed and malnutrition a little bit but we're gonna get her healthy again the gorilla glue she's doing good nice and healthy uh, but yeah let's go ahead and go into the flower tent i'll show you guys what's going on in there all right guys we're in the flower tent uh, let me kick off these reds and blues real quick turn off this fan so we have a little bit less noise uh the gorilla glue she's doing pretty amazing as you can see she's falling all over the place these buds are are stacking up pretty good a decent size they're starting to harden up and get real resiny i did add some uh, mpks to this to this batch um to help the resins ripen up and finish off you can see how frosty she is there we go a little bit better but yeah she came out real frosty real dank this is a plant that I had outside, just like the other ones that you saw in the 15 gallon fabric pots. Um, this one I brought in just to finish off in here, because I needed some flowers soon. And this is uh, almost done already, so we, this one has two weeks left. This is its last week of feeding, it got it fed. After this week, she's going into flush. And she'll flush for two weeks. I'll do one flush, either in the tub or outside. I'll run my hose through it and let it run out about 50 gallons of water through that pot. And then uh, after that, every time that I'm supposed to water and feed, I'll come through and flush again. So I'll do two feed, two flushings per week, Sunday and Thursday. I'll flush Sunday and I'll flush Thursday. And then next week, I'll do the same thing. But the first flush will be with tap water, with a hose or uh, my through your tub or however you guys do it. And then I'll run RO water through it. And the reason why I run tap water is because I'm not wasting my RO water. I'm bringing down the PPMs, whatever they are in there, whether it's 1,000, 800, or whatever it is. I'll bring it down to whatever my tap water is, which is 150 PPMs, which is really fucking low. Um, and then from that, I'll go with RO water and bring it down to, you know, 15, 20 PPMs. And the buds will be nice and flushed. As you can see, the plant's already starting to, to devour itself and feed off all the available nutrients in the plant. It's sucking them dry, so whatever's left in the soil or the cocoa, whatever you're growing in, you flush it out. It has nothing left to eat in the soil, so it starts eating the rest of everything that's in these green leaves. And that's how you get your fade and your flush, and you get your nice tasting buds. But she is huge. Check out this plant, guys. She's massive, 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 massive. There's buds everywhere, flopping around, hanging around. They're just they're everywhere. It's so heavy, I have to tie it up. I had it tied down at one time, but it's so it got so big and massive that I had to tie it up. So I'm guessing about maybe a half a pound, maybe a pound on this one plant alone. And then I have a kryptonite sitting. Sorry about that, guys. Right here. And she's right behind the Gorilla Glue. I would say she's maybe like three weeks behind it. It's because she's still got a lot of white pistols and she's just started stacking, so... She's still got some time to go, and they're both under the Eglex 2000 watt series. They're actually 420, 415, 420 watts a piece. That's with the reds, the blues, and the cobs. Uh, really good lights. I've had excellent success under these. You can grow successfully in a 3x3 three three tent with one of these lights. The only reason why I have two in this 4x4 four four is because it doesn't cover corner to corner. The coverage that I like. And I like to have my plants fully covered with the light. That's why this one's kind of stuffed in here. This uh, one that's just starting to flower off right here. This is a cowboy cookies. This is the same strain that was outside. She actually put on a lot of stretch. She was down here like a week ago and she just shot up. So um, yeah, she's doing really good. As soon as this one comes out, she'll have a light to herself and she she can flourish and do what she needs to do. Uh, but until then, this one, two weeks more. And then this one is going to come down. Like I said, these buds are getting hard and starting to swell up and do their last swell and the resins are starting to cure up but it's looking amazing in here i'm happy with the progress um, like i said underneath this one light right here so it's 400 watts 415 watts um but yeah it's did an amazing job as you can see i'm gonna get at least a pound maybe half a pound three quarters of a pound it's gonna be quite a bit there's a lot of flowers on here 
and they go from the top to the bottom you should have about depending on how you guys are growing you should have about 18 inches of bud solid bud anything beyond that you should cut off or it's going to be large um, you can smoke it too it's just not going to be as good as the tops the first 18 inches is going to be the best quality bud anything below that you can make into hash or something like that or you can smoke it too but it's not going to be the best um, you should you should have uh, as far as coverage and density goes with lights and the reason why this light is a lot lower than this one is because the last couple weeks it needs that light to help resin up make all these resins and all these uh, oils cure up <clears throat> so that way when you do cut it down it's nice and uh, finished and the buds are all evenly uh, the same as far as the oils and density and stuff like that and you can see these buds back here haven't really done much to them they've just been hanging around but look at look at that big old stack of buds if that's not winning I don't know what is and it's because I super cropped her and tied her down like I said that's why you got all these buds that are this size instead of being big colas like this when you tie it down you get uniformity and like I said not all of them stood tied down some of them popped up and it happens you know what I mean but for the most size I mean that you got buds all the way the same size and they're all evenly getting hit by the light not just the top and then the sides of the buds you know what I'm saying they're all getting hit with the light evenly and that's how you get that nice uniformity and quality throughout the plant not just the tops you know what I'm saying but yeah so if you guys like this video like comment subscribe if you have any questions leave them below I'll get to you guys uh, have a good one stay safe and uh, stay medicated